hello Taurus. We have both a new person and a past person and an opportunity for you to demonstrate all of the wisdom you have learned up until now. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello everyone, welcome in. This is a Taurus Tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. I have noticed over these last couple of weeks, whoops, more and more have been popping in to say hello. Let's see what sort of theme we have for you today. North Star, number 19. Flip your inner light switch. Reduce to a 10 to a 1. Hmm. Show me the complimenting energy to the North Star, please. Hmm. Hmm. Shock of the new. Number six. So this does feel like a Taurus that's actually following their North Star. I gotta say that all the times I've gotten the North Star, it's not necessarily the person is actually acknowledging it and following it. Okay. Um, and I'm, I'm getting that in the following of this, there's uh, a, an amount of ease in moving along the path that has not been experienced until now. Show me what's going on with Taurus, please. Show me what's going on with Taurus. Hmm. Hasn't been easy. Three of Swords on the bottom, sure. King of Wands, Leo energy. Three of Pentacles, Hermit. Ooh, this is starting. This is got some hat tips to the Aries reading. If you have Aries in your chart or your person does, you might want to check that out for additional messages. The Sun, the Hangman, the Four of Wands, and the King of Cups, Scorpio energy. Okay. Taurus. I'm going to read. This side is you. This is the person you're connecting with. This is the situation. I feel like you actually have two masculines. I mean, it's either this King of Wands that has been hermiting now has a clear view of his heart space or there's two masculines. We're going to find out because that's why we're here. Okay. There is determination in this connection, in the connection between you, but I feel like you have determination about different things. Okay. You're working on your own individual happiness. Okay. And they seem to still be learning stuff about themselves, about spirit, about soul. Okay. Because you got the hermit, the, the card of Virgo, and the hanged man here. And sometimes... The King and Queen of, Heart, of Hearts. Why do I keep saying that? Um, king of Queen of Cups sometimes mean the physical heart space, the actual heart. Okay. There could be some knowledge here that's been gained where they see themselves correctly, where they see their heart space correctly. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Someone, whether it's this person, if there's a, if this is a second person thing, another person, there's someone in your past that finally sees you and the connection with you correctly, and then they they see what they did to you. I mean, I'd say better late than never, but that's not always the case, right? So, with you. I, I even getting that there's some of you working outdoors and really loving it because you didn't before. 
or it could be outdoor activity like a sport okay something you really enjoy doing you seem to be fine you seem to be totally fine in your world doing your thing working towards the sun or in the sun rather right determination productivity and just wanting to continue to move forward this person is more in not a stagnant energy but more of like a stasis okay a light bulb just went off for somebody when i said that um glad i could help <laughs> um but the, more of a stasis there has been a soul journey sort of element here for this person okay now let's get into this king of wands please the situation show me the situation please with the king of wands two of swords seven of cups empress card of taurus and libra temperance card of sag justice card of libra Ten of Wands, Prince of Pentacles, one more. Princess of Wands, or the Page of Wands, rather. Come here. Don't stick the cards together, please. Make this a little easier. There we go. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. So I feel like, Taurus, you were getting blocked. <clears throat> Could have been in the previous connection, could have been in this one. I'm, I'm actually getting it's both. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but the difference is that you've learned the lesson from the previous one. So the moment your cup was blocked, you just poured it out. So, okay. Pour. I'm done. Because it's not fair. You're able to recognize that clearly and immediately now. Which is the, sh the measurement of your growth. Okay. Um, I feel like communication dwindled with this person. If this is one person, I feel like the communication dwindled. Like it, there was something there and there was like, you were about to basically put your cup on the table to, you know, and before pushing it across the table to the other person offering, it's like, but before you could even put it on the table, there was like a record scratch. Maybe they ghosted, caused some sort of confusion that made you make the executive decision, because that's what empresses do, and you poured out the cup. You're like, eh, sh moving on. Because you learned. You learned, and you're done with this lesson. You don't need to learn it again. You're done. Let's get into the Three of Pentacles, please. Let's get into the Three of Pentacles. Eight of Cups, Princess of Cups, Fool. Hmm. I understand if the previous situation made you feel foolish for risking risking your cup. There's there's someone who views it that way. Um, that in the end it was it was a risk not worth taking. Okay. Um you're headed towards a new beginning. You are, but you're cautious, which can't blame you for that. That's just being a responsible adult, really. Um, I do see some of you traveling more. I see Maui. I see the Grand Canyon for somebody that's never been. I see Paris. I think that's Madrid. Anyway, okay. Travel. Yay. I'm a little envious there. <laughs> so you you're not you're restricting your cup in a sense where you are guarding it as you are supposed to. Okay. And that's that's all well and good. That's perfectly healthy. Um show me the sun, please. Show me the sun. Five of Swords, Queen of Swords. I have Queen of Wands. Nice. Okay. Okay. Now I have Queen of Wands and King of Wands. So you now understand. You have refined, specifically refined, the details of what you need in order to choose love relationship. 
you I mean you've got it down to a fine detail like if you go out with the girls one night and it, it's girls happy hour whatever <clears throat> and maybe you've had one drink too many and he says well call me before you leave so I can hear your voice okay because if you sound a little too much I don't want you to get into ride share I will come and get you there's like you've noted specific things specific characteristics what you need in a masculine counterpart down to the nitty-gritty details and you you won't choose less you will not choose less you will not four of wands show me the four of wands please high priestess card of pisces ten of swords Two of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, King of Pentacles there on the bottom of your mm. So, yeah. I feel like this is the past. We've got Aries, Capricorn, Pisces, Taurus there on the bottom. So you, you blocked a situation that went toxic to the point of just dark. Okay, because emperor devil moon and there's you just rejecting just bat right smacking it right back you yes 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 okay and now this emperor i'm getting that this was a boss for someone um now this emperor is flipping out okay that that you have been lost to him i'm not getting that this is necessarily the same person but we're gonna see because I don't feel like this is the past coming back. I feel like you're implementing the knowledge you've learned from, gained from past experiences. And you can apply those with a new person, which is what shows you what learns the lesson, right? But this Emperor Devil Moon? No, 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 no. I'm very, very proud that you just flat out swung back and hit the moon, the moon and the devil back to the emperor okay so you knew okay you damn well knew there with the high priestess pisces energy that you needed restabilizing in your own energy let alone with another person and that ending this ending this was the right thing to do for you okay We're, we we need to know what's good for you okay and <laughs> i'm getting I'm getting with this, with this two of pentacles, five of pentacles. Um, you may have moved, moved companies, moved, moved jobs, moved cities, neighborhoods, whatever. And you didn't tell anybody. And you, it's because this two of pentacles is like him tiptoeing. Okay. <laughs> There's a nonchalance to it where it's like, no, I'm not telling anyone what I'm doing. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. And then the moving truck pulls up, grabs all your stuff, and drives off with you in it. And everybody else is left there like, wait, where'd she go? <laughs> wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Let's see what's going on with this masculine so we can finally unearth if this is new or if this is past. Show me the hermit, please. Card of Virgo, show me the hermit. Four of Cups, King of Cups again. Hmm. Seven of Cups, Empress, Card of Taurus and Libra. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Show me just the Empress, please. Just the Empress. Really. Hermit again. Okay. So, I'm still getting two energies. <laughs> mm, really? Okay. I'm still getting two energies.
this really does mirror the Aries reading in a very bizarre sort of way, but it comes out with completely different cards. So, Ace of Coins, Star card of Aquarius, Hermit card of Virgo, again, Tower card of Scorpio, Page of Coins. Two things. The new person. You are triggering, you are triggering them, the new person. Okay. Because their heart was previously damaged very deeply by an empress and here you're showing up as an empress so they're triggering the same there's there's divine opportunity to assess confusion of the heart space here okay um but there's judgment being placed on you by this new person because there are parallels in you that remind them of the past person and it doesn't mean that you're the same okay um some people could come in, a feminine can come in with empress energy in different kinds of ways. You could come in with this energetically and then a masculine can confuse an energetic, aka a true empress, an energetic empress versus a 3D empress. A 3D empress would be, say, um, a woman that comes from a privileged family, right? So it seems like she has um excessive energy that generates resources and whatnot but she doesn't her her ancestors did and she gets to benefit from those resources she's not generating resources which tells me she's not generating resources is the palace of swords behind her okay she's she is of a higher lifestyle she is of a higher lifestyle but she didn't generate that lifestyle she's kept in that lifestyle do you see the difference um but so when he, but he doesn't, he's not, when he first sees you, the new one, the new masculine, when he first sees you, he's unable to differentiate. The energy signal is coming up as too similar to ignore. Okay. So that there's, there's the knee jerk reaction to pull back there. Okay. Um, I feel like in the clarification of you here, it shows that you've done the work that launches you in a new direction. Okay. As this pertains to the past masculine. Okay. This masculine now sees his heart space clearly and how the connection with you was a divine opportunity to actually choose his divine counterpart. Okay. He opted for something cold and detached. Okay, cold and detached. And now that there has been silence between you for a while, okay, there is the desire to reach out. It looks like that his correspondence is going to be met with some surprise. Okay. Show me the hangman, please. Show me the hangman. There you are. Hierophants, three of wands, sun. There's that page of coins again, six of wands. So the past masculine, okay, has been waiting to hear back from you. Don't laugh too hard now. <laughs> He's been waiting to hear back from you and wonders why he hasn't been. There's the realization here of understanding he's going to have to basically move the planets in the universe so that's what the sun is doing in order to contact you you could have blocked him on your phone and social media that's which is why he has to move heaven and earth essentially in order to speak to you okay um the new masculine okay is get is gaining new perspective of long-term relationship viewing it differently now okay this is something that's become that's illuminated enough for him in order to reach out show me the king of cups please show me the king of cups at the bottom here scorpio energy show me the king of cups nine of cups yeah two of coins three of swords five of cups nine of swords on the bottom damn okay
This is very much the heart looking at what they want versus the truth if they could actually obtain it or not and going back and forth between those energies and it's doing nothing but creating more inner turmoil um the new one that of course wants their heart's desire their wish okay and just does not want to be hurt again they were hurt pretty badly previously um the past one is more wallowing in this energy and it's not projecting him forward because he's seeing he's seeing he's seeing you clearly now he's seeing the connection clearly now so it's kind of like realizing the screw up as as well right the shock okay the shock um show me the outcome with this past person in Taurus this past person in Taurus because I don't think they're going to carry into the future is why I'm asking yeah he oh, god that's so frustrating <laughs> it's look at all this big energy here to generate this masculine has more than enough power. Look at that. Tower, judgment, fool, magician. Has more than enough power to generate like an escapade of a new beginning. Okay. But he's not going to do anything. Page of Cups behind the Two of Swords, the Hermit. But he's going to stay silent. This is going to be a shoulda, coulda, woulda. It could, it could have been real. It could have been real. It could have been worked on. It could have, it could have, wow. I, this is like, uh, what's the comparison I can make here? It's like, it's the Super Bowl here in the U.S. <laughs> it, it, American football. It's like, and they're at the one yard line running in for the touchdown to win the Super Bowl. Biggest football game of the year here in the U.S. And he just, puts the ball drops the ball on the one yard line there's nowhere near him to tackle him there's no one near here to tackle him to interfere with what it is he's doing to gaining whatever success he wants to generate and then he just stops on the one yard line and just puts the ball right there and walks away wow i'm gonna check one more thing before we go to the extended what is this dude's deal <laughs> What is this dude's deal, please? Show me. Knight of Cups. The Four of Pentacles tried to fall out, so that makes sense. Lovers, Ace of Cups, King of Coins, Three of Coins. Uh-huh. He only wanted to give very little to the connection with you, regardless of how happy it made him and recognizing the connection as the lover's ace of cups. Okay, ace of swords. There's that hint that this person, that this past masculine may have been a boss or a coworker once again. Um, there's the decision to stay with possibly a Scorpio Pisces um, that's already with simply because they've just been together for a while. That's it. That's it. That's it. So I'm going to head over to the extended. And I'm going to ask about the new masculine because if that's what all this is, then we don't need to see the past guy anymore. Um, I'm going to see what the new one is going on in his current energy, his near future, and the final outcome of the connection between the two in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below, and I will see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.